Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship Normal Prize for another episode of um, Homeworld uh, Build... Or, blah, 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 blah. Welcome to our Space Engineers Homeworld Build Homeworld Shipbuilding series. Wow, I butchered that in, that intro like madly. <laughs> um, I have a hole in my ship. That's weird. But anyways, um, what we are doing in this series, if any of you guys are new, is we are building the Kushan ships from Homeworld to scale. This is a Kushan Scout that we're currently building, and it looks gigantic in Space Engineers. That's because in Homeworld One. Their fighters are gigantic. So this is what we have so far. Doing well. And here's all of our engines. Now we haven't built the bottom of the ship yet, but I have made it actually flyable, which we will have to fix when we actually build on the bottom of the ship. What we're gonna do in this episode is I need to drastically reduce the amount of armor this thing requires. If I go in here, right now it shows that it um, this thing weighs 353,000 kilograms, which I need to grab my phone real quick because I don't know how much that actually results in tons. I thought it was like 170 tons, but I forgot kilograms are different than pounds. So give me one second to figure this out real quick. Okay, so we're not quite as bad as I thought we were. We were about 389 tons, which is still pretty darn heavy. According to Homeworld 1, the ship is only supposed to weigh like 19 tons. <laughs> so that's probably not going to happen because of the size of the ship. I would have to find a mod that actually uh, reduces the amount of uh, weight that steel plate is in the game, which I probably still might do in order to... Um, uh, make this work the way we want to but in the meantime actually give me a second real quick i want to see if i can find a mod like that okay so at the moment i haven't really actually found something that i was looking for maybe in the future i might see if i can take the steel plates make a mod of them to make them like iron plates something that's weaker than steel plates but costs less materials to produce um, that way that will help us keep this thing as light as possible but in the meantime um, what I want to do is I want to do 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 I want you get nope not you I want you guys we're gonna get rid of most of this armor here and produce it down to half level or half things see if that makes a difference it might be a project I work on in the future who knows because I would like to get this really well balanced but let's go ahead and do do do. So an interesting thing, these half blocks and main armor blocks actually require the, or have the same amount of weight. Weird. So replacing these with normal armor blocks isn't making a difference when reducing the right weight. So I'll definitely probably have to find a mod that reduces the amount of weight that steel plates is um, in order to actually get this down to the level I want it to be at. But anyways, um, I guess that means I really don't have to do this uh, because I, th I think the way Space Engineers works 
is the amount of steel plates that are in each material that determines the amount of weight and the amount of durability um, for uh, each armor block. And these half blocks require one steel plate and a normal full armor block requires one steel plate. And they also only require one PCU unit, which doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, it's not going to make a difference. All it's going to do is make it look better. And since this is kind of the undercarriage, no one's really going to see this. So I don't really care about making this look good. So instead, what I'm going to probably do is we will clean up this area here. Um, kind of make this a little bit better, more efficient. Um, and then probably start working on uh, um, at the bottom of the ship. I think that's what we're going to do until I can find a steel mod that uh, allows me to reduce the amount of uh, weight that um, steel plates require. And apologize about the parking. We have something outside that our dogs have noticed. But anyways, uh, um, in the meantime, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this build montage. Okay, that was very short. <laughs> I just kind of want to make that area to look pretty, but like I said, this is all going to be sealed up. No one's actually really going to see this, so I'm not actually too worried about that. Um, so now I need to quickly bring up my um, pictures so I can start uh, um, getting this going. And we will have to probably move this down a little bit. What I'm probably going to do is build from here to back here first. And then we'll move and then we'll start making our way up. Um, because this, this right here is the docking area for the ship. We're just going to dock with other things like other, you know, homeworld ships like support frigates and the mothership and all that stuff to get more ammo and get more um, uh, fuel and like all that fun jazz. So anyways, give me one second real quick and we will continue. Alrighty. So it looks like according to my pictures, the loading point for the scout is actually right here underneath this. This is where it looks like it actually will come all the way down and get loaded up. That looks like that would be the only point according to my picture, which I'll show you guys up here in a second of what I'm looking at, of uh, where it would actually be to load the ship. And it's also the lowest point of the ship too. Whoops, sorry about that. Forgot I didn't have my thing minimized. Hmm. The lowest point of that ship is the middle area, kind of where I already have it. Hmm. Because I don't want to put pistons or anything on these to make this even more complicated. Let's see. Where do we have it? I mean, actually, let me zoom all the way out. That probably isn't a bad spot. I think I'm going to have to bring it down a little bit more. Let me see. Right here is the cockpit. Um, honestly, yeah, if we bring it down, maybe a couple more um, areas, I think it'll be good. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of you. Bring it down to about, I'm just using these as placeholders for now there because according to what I'm looking at my I think it's gonna have to come down maybe two more.
Okay, so we got this area all done. This area here probably needs a little bit more of a touch up. I might do that in the future. Um, but so far we got the left side bottom down. Um, all the way up to right behind the cockpit. Now I must, you guys probably noticed, but I messed around with this a couple times trying to figure out the correct configuration. And I think for now this is probably gonna do. We might clean it up a little bit more in the future. Um, I don't know why this is like that for some reason. That's kind of weird and disturbing. Let me go ahead and fix that. Boop, boop. There we go. Uh, yeah, we got a few of them like this. <laughs> I wonder if that's when I went in to try to um, reduce the weight a little bit by changing those to a different block and then realizing, oh, they're all one weight or one steel plate, so the weight's not really going to matter. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's get this one fixed as well. There we go. All pretty again. So yeah, um, getting done with the bottom, we're going to be messing around with the thrusters a lot more once we uh, get this whole thing going. Um, uh, let's see. What are we doing over here? So yeah, we start at the bottom and we try to reduce the weight and realize that it doesn't really matter. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to try to see if I can find a mod that reduces the weight of steel plates, or I might make my own mod um, that reduces the weight of vanilla steel plates just for um, this uh, shipbuilding series so we can get the weight a lot closer to where it's supposed to be for um, homeworld uh, um, things. Let's see, where are we at right now? We are 371,000 kilograms, which I think is like 260 tons. The ship is supposed to weigh 18 tons. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I need to find a mod that drastically reduces the weight of steel plates. And then by doing that, we won't need uh, 5,000 thrusters, which will reduce the weight of that. Which again, will reduce the weight of our power consumption and um, reduce the weight of our uh, gyros. Because I won't need so many gyros to make this thing spin super quickly. So yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and end that episode here, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it so far. We still have a lot to do. The next episode, I'm hoping to get majority of the bottom built. Um, I'll probably just make it one big uh, um, build montage and try to get majority of the bottom done. Because the bottom is not near as difficult as the top. Yeah, the top was definitely difficult because all these weird angles. The bo bottom is mainly flat except for over here by uh, this thing. This is a thing that actually makes it kind of weird. Um, so yeah, I might actually be able to redo this and make it come down a little bit sharper. Uh, because this area down here is about the only spot that's supposed to be really, really low. So yeah, and we'll mess around with it. Next episode, we're, I'm going to hopefully try to get majority of the bottom done so that we can start working on the fun things, which is uh, um, all the survival stuff. Because I definitely do want to make this thing survival ready. But with the cue of my dog barking outside, um, let me go ahead and get on top of our ship next to our little laser thing. I forgot there was no gravity here. And we will leave it at that. So yeah, um, Blake quit twitching. There we go. <laughs> So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Silva and signing out. The Baker have arrived. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive.